squad, it's quads, back with another video. And today we are looking at the results of the new Walksnail Avatar firmware, version 34.42. Point seven. Let's go. So first of all, we are looking at the Moonlight version of the firmware. Now, the test was relatively limited as it had been raining all day. There's a couple of things that I can definitely say with relation to the, to the new update for the Moonlight. And that is, one, the camera does seem a lot clearer. Well, no, the camera does seem clearer. It's not a huge amount. It's not jumped up to a DJI O3. But we've definitely got better quality coming out of that camera now. And the other point I can say is we have a better signal in range and penetration before I get any sort of breakup or warnings. The unfortunate thing being the Moonlight doesn't actually output any DVR currently. I believe Calyx are working on it. And I think that's one of the biggest things, biggest issues with, with Calyx and then this warp now system is it's so good in comparison to analog and it's a bit cheaper in comparison to DJI. But they've just got to get this firmware sorted. I think most firmwares are still classed as beta by them from what I remember when it first came out all of the firmwares for the first 12 months were all beta firmwares so i'm not gonna beat them up but they do really need to drop a big update with regards to this firmware now there's a lot of things that people are asking for one of them as i say mainly is the ability to record dvr on the moonlight but there's a lot of other things as well however concentrating on what we've got here today right now we have got an incremental update which provides a better signal, better penetration, and a better output video from that Moonlight um, camera. So all in all, from the Moonlight point of view, I'd say it's safe to upgrade to, it's worth upgrading to, upgrade to it. And if you need to know how to upgrade, click on the link above and I'll tell you how to do it. And as we switch gears a little bit, we now switch to a 5-inch GEPRC Mark V with a Calyx Walksnail Pro VTX in it. Bit of history very quickly, this VTX replaced my last analog quad so that I could try and fly harder and improve myself by taking more risks with it in comparison to trying to not damage an expensive DJI one and flying analog I just didn't feel like I could fly as hard as I wanted to because of the the signal sure I built a quad with a decent picture in it but I just didn't quite get the confidence from it so I took the decision in December last year to replace my last analog VTX with a walk snail and I haven't looked back since and I've got to be honest it's helped my flying ability so jumping back onto the point we are again showcasing the the new update firmware for the Pro VTX 34.42.7 and it's important that we showcase each results for each one because you can have the same firmware number update but it can affect different VTXs in different ways so this particular firmware may affect the micro VTX differently than it does the Pro VTX on the Moonlight however I'm happy to report that I've seen a huge improvement with this now if we go back to when I first got this, I did have issues when I was going around the tree and the quad was facing away from me and I was doing snappy rolls. By issues, what I mean is I was getting a red border saying that I was having a low signal. I wasn't getting any latency, but it, it did occasionally offer break up and that was only around about 50 meters away from the takeoff point. Not a great performance. However, it, like I say, did genuinely give me that ability to fly harder and, and really try and improve myself. And I think the, the past sort of couple of months have shown the level of improvement that I've actually gone through. But I was always a little bit nervous getting those red signal errors so close to me that I never actually flew to the other side of the field. However, with this new update, I can confirm the penetration and signal is a hundred times better. Genuinely is absolutely just, just night and day different. So much so that I had so enough confidence halfway through this flight to then fly to the other side of the field, pull a split S over the tree and drop behind it, which is something that I've normally only done with the DJI um, Vista or O3 unit before now. So again, if you're wondering, should I up to this new firmware is 
it safe? Is it worth my time? I can categorically tell you now that it's safe on both the Moonlight and the Pro VTX. It is absolutely worth doing on both the Moonlight and the Pro VTX. And it's worth your time. I did also upgrade my Goggles X to the same firmware as well, so just, just be mindful if your Goggles X or any of the other goggles are on a lower firmware, just update them as well to match with this. But overall, I give them all a pass, it's all brilliant, uh, absolutely upgrade as soon as you can, it's absolutely worth it. There are still things missing, there are still things that need improvement in the firmware character, really do need to get sort of on top of that quickly now rather than releasing new products. But I'm sure, um, well, no, I hope you will. That's half the problem with Cadex is they will release these products but then they'll just sort of not quite get them over the line and most of the time that's not a problem because the product is so much cheaper than a comparable product but the problem with the Walksdale system is it's so closely priced to the DJI system that sometimes my recommendation is just go DJI and that's a real shame because there is something really good here in this system um, but it just needs a little bit of refinement anyway upgrade to this firmware You've been amazing. I've been Quartz. Until next time, peace.